ISA Fruit objective is to increase fruit consumption um, to improve the health and well-being of Europeans. What are you doing to contribute to that effort? Uh, we're working on uh, what we call the emergent technology with the objective to get uh, a fresh-like product, fresh-like fruit products especially, which is safe with a uh, long shelf life, two or three weeks, and uh, even more if we can it, and to, have, to be healthy, which means that to maintain some uh, nutritional characteristics and sensorial characteristics also. So what we can say in general is that uh, we can preserve uh, f uh, fresh fruits uh, without compromising the, the, the food safety and uh, the nutritional quality. And on the other hand, we are satisfying the growing demand uh, of the consumers for, for convenience, con convenient products and uh, fresh-like products. On the eyes of fruit, we have working on the radio frequency and microwave uh, technology for last year. And here we are designed, we're just in the way to design new application to have new products on the market. And for the high pressure technology that we are using, we're actually making a survey of different cultivars to find what products will be more suitable for the technology. Currently, what we have done uh, was a screening of about 20 different apple cultivars for the, uh, if they are uh, resistant to the oxidation or resistant to oxidation reactions with air and during the high pressure process in, in this equipment. Uh, what we're going to do in the future is to, uh, on the other hand, is to prepare a, a fruit salad uh, as a ready to, to eat serving, uh, where we uh, mix uh, fruits, fresh cut uh, with additional ingredients, which can be antioxidants, which can be sugars or oligosaccharides, uh, vitamins, uh, so to, to obtain a, a more functional product and a more healthy product. Okay, here we have the microwave tunnel that we have as the IRTA, where uh, here you have some trap for the microwave because it's a continuous uh, system. Here you have what we call the cavity where you process the product. On the top you have the magnetrons. Uh, in this case we have 12 magnetrons of 2 kilowatts. And at the end, you have another trap for the microwave and the exit of the product. So when we process some products, they are in trays. You, we put it here at the beginning, and they follow completely uh, the tunnel. And in the cavity, normally, they stay just uh, one minute. So the whole processing is just uh, four to five minutes. What competitive advantage do you think that your access group research will give to the uh, concerning the, the microwave heating, uh, one of the main competitive uh, advantages is that uh, the microwave process is very fast, so we can shorten the, the production times. And on the other hand, it's, uh, it's very energy efficient. Uh, concerning uh, the high pressure system, uh, the, what we can do here is a, a pasteurization at uh, cold temperatures. Uh, and this is important for producers which cannot be heated and uh, which are very which are heat sensitive products. So some of these technologies haven't been used in food before. Do they pose any risk to consumers? Well, if we take on the microwave technology, there's any risk at all because it's a thermal technology. Everybody using it at home for at least uh, 25 or 30 years. So there's no uh, problems at all. Uh, concerning the high pressure technology, is the regulation is a novel food regulation. And to have a product on the market, you have different steps that you have to follow. If you comply with all these steps, you can put it on the market. So there's no, there's no risk at all for consumers.